Um, so for 39, they want us to find a cap of a sphere with radius r and height h. Now, it's important to notice that h is just this height over here. Uh, so one thing that's interesting for us is to find this point here of the boundary, because it goes from this blue point, um, our area, all the way out to the pink point. So let's think about it. If this is, if this is the length r, if this is r, and then this over here is the length h, this point, the second point, would be described basically by r, that length, minus the green length, right? So this is here is r minus h. So that's important because it's going to give us the second boundary. Um, so once we have that, we can, we can see here that our integral, we're summing up from r minus h all the way out to r. Uh, that's little r, yeah. And what we're doing here is we're taking the height of this, of the function here, and then we're revolving it about the y-axis, right? Because then when, when we revolve um, this here, we're going to have a bunch of, of disks like so that are going to give us, um, that are going to sum up to that cap of the sphere, right? Um, so let's think about this equation here that describes the circle. This equation is y squared plus x squared is equal to r squared. Now, we're summing up across uh, the y-axis, right? So we want to be able to express this in terms of, of y, as functions of y, because we're summing up as uh, our dy's. So basically here we're going to have that x squared is equal to r squared minus y squared, and then x is equal to um, plus or minus root of r squared minus y squared. Now let's think about if we're going to take the positive root or the negative root. Basically, uh, the positive root on the y on, on the y side it goes it's this part, and then the negative root is the lower. Um, and now we only want the positive root because we're really just uh, we're really just revolving this part here. We don't need the lower part because when we revolve it, there's um, there's an intersection, right? So if I were to revolve the positive part, it's going to account for that negative part as well because it's going to revolve like this. Uh, so it's just easier for us to work with the with the positive root. So I'm going to choose the positive root, and then um, let's think about how this area is calculated. So basically the area is going to be, we're going to sum up these horizontal uh, plates, right? That's going to form our dome. And basically here, the radius is wherever it touches the curve. That's our radius. It goes from the center to wherever it touches the curve. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do that with a different color. Uh, yeah, so the radius goes all the way from the center at y, and it touches that curve. So it's just the value of the equation. Um, and so an individual circle is basically the area is pi r squared, where the radius is just the height of the function. So this is equal to pi times uh, square root of r squared minus y squared squared, which is equal, the square root cancels out with the, the square power. So it's just pi times r squared minus y squared. All right, so we're ready. Um, we're ready to to integrate here, so we're going to have pi outside. Um, and let's see, that's going to give us r squared minus y squared, all of this times dy, because we're stacking them up across the y-axis. So when we integrate with respect to y, we're going to have um, r squared y minus y cubed over 3, uh, evaluated from r minus h all the way to r, right? Because we're we're going from this point down here, which is r minus h, all the way up to r. Um, so once we have this, we basically just have to input our boundaries, right? Which is equal to, that's pi. Um, let's put in the r first. So pi r squared times r minus r cubed over 3. And then minus, we're going to have to put this r minus h. So minus um, r, oops, that is not what I meant to do minus r squared times r minus h for y, r minus h, and then minus minus is plus, plus r minus h cubed over 3. Um, and then let's see. We are going to have to expand this. This is equal to pi. Uh, this is r cubed, right, minus r cubed over 3. So that's going to give us uh, 2r cubed... Um, 
over 3. And let's see, this is going to give us minus r cubed, minus r cubed, and then um, plus, uh, plus r squared h. And then when I expand this out, um, you can put it in, a, in an expanding calculator or do the work afterwards. It's kind of tedious to expand this cube or look at the binomial expansion, right? But when you expand this, it's basically going to give you um, r cubed over 3 and then plus 3r squared h, but then it cancels out with the, with the 3. Um, actually, minus, because that's a negative, right? So minus r squared h, and then it would give you um, plus... 3r uh, minus 3rh cubed over 3, because that's the, the binomial expansion, but then the 3 cancels out. So we're going to have here, um, let's see, that's plus rh squared over 3. And this is a plus because the h is squares, right? And then we're going to have um, minus... Oops, that, there's no 3 on the denominator because it would cancel out. And then minus, let's see, minus h cubed over 3. So let me just double check my math. Uh, r squared. Yep, that is correct. Uh, this is just the binomial expansion of that cube. So now let's join everything together. Um, let's see. r cubed, I have uh, 2 thirds and then minus, minus 1. Um, and then plus one so that our cubes cancel out and then let's see what else we are going to have here We're going to have the r squared h cancels out with a negative r squared h. So basically we're just going to be left with um, r h squared minus h cubed over three and uh, Or if we want to put the three outside, this is equal to three pi times uh, Let's see 3 pi times r, no, that is not what I meant to do. I want to factor out the pi over 3. I want to factor out the pi over 3, and then this is going to give me 3h squared r uh, minus rh cubed. Yeah, so these, these are the same answers, um, and that's what we get when we take, uh, when we try to find the cap of the sphere, right? which is just taking the this equation and then uh, revolving it about the y-axis from r minus h all the way up to r.